Hi guys, it's Rachel here, and I'm gonna do another um, learn how to draw. I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw some stuff. If you watched my last video from last Tuesday, we learned how to draw some emojis, and that's what we're gonna do again today, but we've got six new different ones. Um, I really miss you guys, and I really want you to comment your pictures of your drawings below, so please do that. All right, the first one we're gonna learn how to draw today is the sunglass eye emoji. So, first we're gonna start with our circle. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta start over. Forgot to tell them materials to get. Start over. Hi guys, it's Rachel here, and I really miss you guys, and I wanna see what you guys are drawing, so please make sure that you comment below. Um, what you'll need for this activity is um, a piece of paper, doesn't matter what size or color, you can get whatever you want, and some kind of writing material. So that could be a pencil, it could be a pen, or a marker, or crayons, or even paint. But I'm gonna use a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker so I can easily show you how to draw. And today we're doing emojis. Last Tuesday I did six different emojis, and today I'm doing six new ones. So, let's get right into it. First, we're gonna do the sunglass emoji. So first, we're gonna start out with our circle for the face. So you're gonna make your circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now next, we need the sunglasses. Now I'm gonna use black because that's what color they are in the emoji, but if you wanna make them a different color, go ahead. So sunglasses can be kinda hard, so we're gonna try to make this as simple as possible. So I'm gonna start out with drawing a line, and then I'm gonna draw another line with a little gap in between right next to it like that. Now, I'm gonna make a little curve underneath and connect the two. If you don't like it, you can always draw over it and make it a little bigger or thicker. Now, I'm gonna go back to this side and I'm gonna draw down, make a curve, go back up, and I'm gonna make a little, little line to kinda match that other one I drew. And you can start from right here or over here and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna make that that loop kind of thing. And then you're gonna fill it in. This is why I would recommend using a pencil first to lightly sketch, because if you have to erase, pencil makes it a lot easier to erase your mistakes and um, start over. But if you use something like pen, you can't erase. Okay, so there are sunglasses. So that's our start, but he still needs a mouth. so. I'm going to take just a brown color. The emoji's mouth is a slightly dark brown color, but again, you can use whatever color you want. It's your emoji. So we're going to just make a smiley face. It can be whatever kind of smile you want. I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. And if you want to give him a nose, you could give him a nose right here if you wanted to, because, you know, sunglasses got to sit on something. So, when you're all said and done, you've got your sunglass emoji, with or without a nose, if you don't want it. Just erase it. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we're gonna do the money face emoji. I don't know if anyone knows what that one is, because I feel like it's not used that much, but I'm gonna show you, and maybe you can use it more. So again, we're gonna start out with our circle. Now, we got to do the eyes. Now the eyes in this emoji are money signs, but because I'm behind a green screen, I can't use a green marker because then you wouldn't see it. So I'm going to use black. So to make the eyes, you're just going to make a dollar sign, which if you don't know what that is, it's an S, a capital S, with a line, one or two lines through it, you choose. And then you make another one right next to it, going the same direction. And then above these, you're gonna make some eyebrows because he's excited because he's got money on his mind. Okay? Now we're gonna do the mouth. If you watched my last video, I explained how to do a mouth, but I'll do it again. So we're gonna start with a straight line. Now this guy has a green tongue, but again, I'm just gonna use my black marker. And I'm gonna start and go down and come back up. And he has a money sign on the tongue too. So we're gonna draw our capital S with our line through it. And now to finish our mouth, we're gonna come back over here on the left 
and we're gonna curve it and then you stop at the tongue. You don't wanna go through the tongue because his tongue is over his mouth. And then you can come on the other side and curve it and go down and stop at the tongue. And when you're done, you'll have the money face emoji. And like I said, if you wanna color in the tongue after you've traced it or drawn it with a green pencil, go for it. And you can even do the eyes green too if you want. Okay. All right, the next one we're gonna do is like, it's kind of a silly winky face. So that's what we're gonna work on. All right, so we're gonna start. We've got our circle. Actually, I don't like that. I'm gonna do it again. See, this is why it's good to have an eraser so you can start over if you don't like something. There, I like that circle better. So this guy has kind of a one eye that's winking. So what we're gonna do is take your writing utensil and you're gonna make a curved line, not a straight line, a slightly curved line. Almost kind of like a C. If you were to turn it sideways, it kind of would look like a C almost. So that's our first eye. Now we need our other eye. The other one is open, so it's a big circle. Like this. But it has what's called a pupil in it. We all have them. They're black and we have our colored eyes around them. Okay, so there's the eyes. Now we need a mouth. So like on our um, money emoji, we're gonna draw that straight line I talked about. But I'm gonna switch colors for a second because this guy has a pink tongue. And so just like the money emoji, we're gonna start somewhere, not necessarily the middle. And we're gonna go down and curve it and come back up. And I'm gonna draw a line in my tongue. You don't have to, but you can. And then, just like the money emoji, we're gonna start on this side. And we're gonna come down and, oop, stop at the tongue. And then, that's a little long. We're gonna start on this side and we're gonna go down and stop at the tongue. So, when you're all finished, you have, I call it the silly wink emoji. And if you wanted to color this in, you could, um, this part of the eye is white, the whole face is yellow or gold, and then the tongue is a pink color, and inside the mouth they just do like a darkish brown color. So if you wanted to color it in, you could do that, or you could just leave it as an outline, whatever you would like. All right. Now I'm gonna do the eye roll emoji. It's a pretty silly one. So we've got our circle. Now, this one kind of has an eye, just like the silly wink emoji. We've got two circles with the little dots in the middle, so that's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna make my eyes a little bit big. So I've got my two circles, and now I don't wanna put the pupils in the center, I wanna put them towards the top, because it's rolling its eyes, and you know when you roll your eyes, you're eyes kind of go like they're looking up so we've got that and then the mouth on this emoji is just um, it's very small so we're gonna draw a little line and draw another little line underneath it and then we're gonna make um, some curves kind of like we did for the winky part of the silly emoji on either end or on both ends and then color it in and you've got your eye roll emoji. Now, if you wanted to color this one in, again, it's a yellow or gold face. The eyes are just how they are, white with a black dot, but if you wanted to make them a different color, you could. And the mouth on the emoji on the phone is like a brownish kind of color, so you could do that if you wanted. All right, we've got two more emojis, and these ones are a little different. I thought it'd be fun to change it up from doing just a regular smiley face. So I'm gonna teach you how to draw the ghost because I think that one would be pretty fun. So one way you can start this is by making a half circle. So if it's easiest for you, you can draw your circle and then with your eraser, erase the bottom half. If you're good at drawing just an arc on your own, you don't have to, but drawing the circle can be helpful. So then what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna go to one side and you're gonna extend it down and kind of flare it out. So again, you're gonna go down and flare it out. And then you're gonna do that on the other side. You're gonna go down and flare it out. Then you wanna connect these and in the connection, you're gonna make a wave. So you can start at any either side and you just go up and down and up and down and connect. Now the ghost has arms. So you can make whatever kind of arms you want, but this ghost has its arms up like it's gonna go scare somebody. So I'm just gonna curve up make a little arc and come back down. Now, a tip, if you want your arms to be pretty equal and where they fall on the ghost, you can just um, get a ruler if you wanna use a ruler to measure across to make them the same, but you don't have to, or if you've got a, a piece of paper that you could put down and be like, okay, so if I were to follow along, the top would be right here and the bottom would be right here. So I know that's where the arm's gonna fall. And then you can draw it. You just curve up, make your little mark, and come down. So we've got our arms. Now this ghost has two eyes, one small and one big. So you can make them on either side, but I'm gonna start with the little one and I'm gonna put it on my left side. So there's my little eye and I'm gonna color it in all the way and then I'm gonna make the big one make it really drastic and big and you just color that one in oh, my markers running out there we go okay now for his mouth he has his tongue sticking out which we've gotten pretty good at we've already drawn two emojis that have their tongue sticking out so we're gonna draw our straight line and I'm gonna switch colors because he has a pink tongue if you want to, you could do a red tongue or whatever color you want. So we're gonna draw our tongue. Remember, we start some of the way in, go down, curve it, come back up, and you can draw your line if you want. Now I'm gonna switch back to my black marker, go over to the side and go down, 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 down. Oh, stop at the tongue. And we're gonna go to the other side and go down and down and stop at the tongue. And then you could color that in if you'd like, and you could even color in the tongue. And just for fun, if you wanted to, you could give him a little speech bubble and write, boo. So there's our finished ghost emoji. And if you wanted to, you could draw other things around it too. You could even give your emojis a background. That would be really cool. If you have any cool ideas to put with these emojis and what kind of backgrounds, comment down below because I want to see what you guys are thinking because you guys are really creative. All right, our final emoji is um, the puppy emoji. I thought that'd be really fun because doesn't everyone love a good puppy? All right, I'm gonna use um, brown because in the phone emoji, he's white and brown, but white wouldn't show up. So I'm gonna use a brown marker instead. So this one's kind of similar to the ghost where we start out with a half circle, but it's kind of more like a half of an oval as to what, how you want to start it. So I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna do the oval and then I'm gonna erase the bottom half of it, maybe a little bit more. So I've got this kind of shape. Again, if you don't like it, just erase it and start over. Now we're gonna do his little cheeks. So you're gonna come to the ends and you're gonna curve them out. And then you're gonna go the other side and curve it out. And then you're gonna connect them like that. If you wanted to, you could just make one continuous line, but if it's easier for you to do the two and then connect them, you can do that too. Now we gotta do, let's do the mouth and the nose. So he has a tongue that's sticking out right around oops, here. So I'm gonna switch to pink because he has a pink tongue. And remember, this is where I said it's good to have a pencil because we might have to do some erasing. I'm just gonna use my finger, but if you're using a pencil, that probably won't work for you. So get your eraser handy. And I'm gonna erase just a little space for my tongue. And if I have to go back and draw the face, I can. So I'm gonna draw the tongue. I'm gonna give him a little tongue. And draw the line. And see how I have some space left over right here because I erased too much? That's okay. I'm just gonna take my marker and just fill it back in. 
So then his tongue has to connect to his nose because you see how we have this line right here and our tongue kind of kind of comes out to our mouth. Dogs have the same thing. So I'm going to draw a little line, kind of like it's extending from that tongue line I drew, but then I'm going to draw two lines out from it like that. And then at the top of this line, I'm going to go up like this, like a curve, and then I'm going to do it on the other side too. And then to connect them, we want to make um, an arc, kind of like we did for the winky face emoji. So we're going to just go up like that. If you want to fill it in or give it two little nose holes, you can, but you don't have to. So now we're going to do the eyes. Now this dog has black eyes, so I'm going to switch to my black marker. And the eyes are like a, they're tall and they're oval. So, but if you want to make round ones, you can totally make round ones. But I'm going to do the oval ones. So, we're going to do the ovals, and they're long, oops, that's the kind of shape, tall and long ovals. I'm going to draw the other one, and then I'm going to fill them in. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen someone draw an eye, but you know, sometimes they put a little white mark in them, and that's when you just use your eraser. And you would just erase like a circle for the little white parts of an eye. And then this dog has a spot covering one or going around one of his eyes. So you can make it whatever shape you want. Kind of reminds me of a Dalmatian almost. And then finally we're going to do the ears. So you can start wherever you want on the head. I'm going to start probably a little bit above the eyes. And you're just going to go down and kind of curve it. And I'm going to do it on the other side. If you Again, if you want to make them about the same lineup, you just, you can follow over or get a ruler. And I'm going to say it goes right there. And I want the bottom to match up too. So I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to follow it over. It's about right there. So now I'm going to connect this dot and this dot with my curved line. Down and kind of curve it. And there is our puppy emoji. And I'm going to name him Spot because he's got the one spot around his eye. So, I really enjoy drawing with you guys and I really want to see how you guys are improving in your art. So please comment down below and I can't wait to see you guys again. See you next time.